Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Back to Beta server. And we are starting off this video on top of the scaffold tower that we built in the last episode for the next mini game that we're going to be putting in our massive stadium project here uh, on the Back to Beta server. Um, and yeah, we've just got the scaffolding in place right now, and this is for a King of the Ladder uh, mini game that uh, that I want to build for the server. And, um, yeah, it hasn't changed at all since the last episode, but we are going to uh, make some progress on that today. Um, so the first thing I want to get into is actually digging out the ground underneath this, uh, this scaffolding here, because I want to make this, this layer of sand here, I want to make this glass, and underneath that I want it to sort of continue straight down as like a big open pit and I want these pillars to keep going down just to give the sense of this thing uh, being a lot bigger than it actually is I guess <laughs> I mean it is pretty huge um, but I want it to feel even bigger like I want to see this ladder like continue down um, and I was pretty inspired by um, the deadly dirt block I actually want to go check out um, this this chunk error he did and I, I did this a little bit in my let's play world as well um, where he removed and I removed the uh, bedrock layer at the bottom of the world so it kind of falls into to the void. I think that would be pretty cool. We'll see if we do that, um, but we'll definitely go down to bedrock at least, I reckon. So we dug a hole, and it's a pretty large hole, oh my god, <laughs> I did not realize how large this hole was going to be. Um, yeah, this took a while, uh, I kind of grinded this thing out, and I got tons of resources from it, I've got so much cobblestone, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, we've got a huge, huge hole here now underneath the, uh, the scaffolding here, and... I wanted to, I, I, don't, I don't know if I mentioned that this hole is purely aesthetic, I think I mentioned that. Uh, purely aesthetic hole, right now it's not very aesthetic looking, but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna pretty up the walls a bit. And, um, I guess I'll jump down there and show you what it's, uh, what it's kind of looking like. This is my, uh, my way down. Whew. Sometimes you catch it, sometimes you don't, but, uh, I've been pretty good actually getting the, the last little, uh, ladder bit. This is actually my practice for, uh, for when we go up there. Um, but yeah, this is down at the bottom with the, with all the bedrock. Uh, it's pretty cool. I did a, I did my best to kind of clear out everything in here. I don't know if that's uh, if it was necessary, but maybe it's just like a little, little OCD thing. I don't know. I wanted to clear out every every stone and dirt block and lava block and whatever um, in the in the uh, in the oh, is it raining? Oh my god! In the um, bedrock here. Um, now I've reconsidered. I don't know if I will get rid of the bedrock. Um, I think we might just leave it as bedrock, at least for now. We can always always change that. Um, but the next step is to pretty up the walls. 
And I'm not 100% sure what we should do with the walls. I'm thinking... I Originally, I was thinking maybe we could have, like, columns uh, with, like, an inset kind of color. Something like that, you know. Um, but now I'm also kind of thinking uh, it could be, like, you know... I haven't I haven't done a big enough example here. Uh, maybe it could be like oh, and now I don't have enough blocks. And I've McFallen. Oh my gosh! Imagine if that was like a a hole. Uh, hang on, let me grab these grab these blocks. It's a mess. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe it could be like a like a patterned kind of thing, like this, and then that you know keeps going up sort of thing. Uh, yeah, like a like a grid kind of thing. Um, I'm not too sure, um, and I was thinking maybe like the smooth stone that we have up there could be the, the, the main pillar looking blocks, and then maybe we have a slightly different variant in there, and then I kind of want the back uh, inset block to be black wool. I want this to be quite dark, because I want it to accentuate these pillars um, that are going to be coming all the way down, you know, I want, I want, I want this to be a little, like, not so noticeable, um, so that the pillars that come down look even bigger and longer, you know. Um, that's hopefully the effect we're going to go for. So, yeah, um, I will need, like, tons of black dye for that. I don't... Preferably, we make a design like this that is uh, that has got a lot going on so that we don't need as much black wool. But, yeah, we're going to have to see. Uh, I'm going to mess around with some designs, and, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you when they're done. So I've built a little mock-up here of what we uh, we might go with in terms of a design. And I think this one could be cool because it has quite a lot going on. Um, and I think underneath here it'll, you know, it'll open up as well. So I think this will be good. This one maybe doesn't have, a uh, you know, as much going on with it. So I think I might, you know, I think we should try and go with this one. Um, plus it will save us on black wool because I don't have that much black wool and there is a lot of wall space to cover. So that actually might end up being, you know, kind of a longer term project. Um, cause obviously over time, um, I will collect the wool, but you know, there's no, there's no super efficient way to collect wool in beta apart from, uh, using the, the wool farm, which we have. We do have a wool farm, by the way. Um, I think Deadly Dirt Block constructed a, uh, a passive mob farm. Um, I'm not sure how great it is, but yeah, definitely better than just wandering around and collecting sheep. But yeah, that's probably going to be a longer term project. So I might try and make a start on this, um, and we can see what it kind of looks like, um, at least in general form. I can definitely get these pillars in place um, first, and I'm I'm thinking I will go with the five blocks between. But um, when we get there, maybe maybe I'll uh, I'll rearrange that decision. But um, yeah, I think this is a good a uh, uh, good place to start with. Let's let's try it out over there. Aha! Uh -huh, so something you may have noticed with the design I have is it's actually in like indented in the wall a little bit, um, and I haven't done that here, which I definitely need to do. Um, I think it's only one layer. Uh, actually, oh no, it'll be two layers back because I want the black wool in there as well. So yeah, we're gonna have to actually do a lot more mining. I realized two layers on all four sides. So yeah, gonna have to do that, which is a bit annoying. But hmm, I might I might try mining out one wall and then we can we can see what that looks like. Maybe we'll just start with this wall and we'll see what that looks like uh, with the designs in place. So I'll, I'll start with that. Alright, so I've dug out the wall, just this one wall, um, and I dug it three deep because I ended up using TNT, so it's three deep, so we might actually slightly change the design to make it a three deep uh, kind of design, but let's let's jump down here, catch the ladder, oh, I didn't catch it very far down. Alright, let's, uh, let's head over here, so yeah, as you can see, I've kind of got that jut out now, and I think we might try, ooh, Minecraft music, guys. Uh, we might try and put the gray wool and the black, uh, the gray wool and the slabs on different layers. Uh, I might just turn this down. Okay, so we've kind of got, uh, one, two, three, so we'll, we'll have, like, the black wool on this layer, the gray wool here, and then this here. So, uh, first we've got to work out how wide this has to be. Um... Let's see if that's fine. So if we go one, two, three, four. Oh, I just realized <laughs> I want to use wool in this build, but there's lava in the walls. I'm going to have to clear all of the lava that's like anywhere near. Ooh, 
That's annoying. Okay. Noted though. Good we uh good we worked that out before we placed all the wool down and uh, had it all burn on us. All right, we got two of the pillars in. How does this look? Let's take a step back. Okay, that's kind of cool. I think that could be kind of cool. Might be a little too much. I think that'll be kind of cool. Let's uh let's try it out. Let's add the let's add the rest of the pillars and have a look. All right, so the pillars are all in place now, and it looks pretty cool in my opinion. I think this looks pretty much how I wanted it to look. Um, yeah, I, this took a deceptive amount of work actually. Just getting rid of um, three blocks further back on all these four sides took a lot of TNT and actually quite a bit of time. Um, and then this is actually a deceptive amount of uh, crash slabs. You have to have, like, at least two stacks of crash labs to get one of these pillars done, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it could even be more. It's, like, two stacks at least. Um, and, yeah, there's obviously a bunch of pillars. Um, so I actually made a little uh, little machine that helped me kind of automate that process a little bit. Um, but, yeah, this, uh, this hole is looking pretty good. The next steps now that I think we need to do is um, fill in the walls, obviously, and make the design. Um... And my original plan was to do that with wool, but I think that is going to be a very long-term project if we do it with wool. Um, and especially, obviously, I have to get rid of all the lava pockets. I have to find and get rid of all the lava pockets that are in the walls here so it doesn't burn to the ground. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be thinking about that right now because this already took um, a very long time. So yeah, let me go up and I'll show you the, uh, the machine that I used to actually get um, all of the crash labs. Okay, so just over here next to our mob grinder, there's the Pantheon there, just for uh, for a bit of reference. Um, we have our kind of like farming area, or like a little bit of a, I don't know, just a little bit of a, a playtest area. This will eventually look good, I guess, but for now it's just a bit of a mess. Um, there's our tree farm, obviously, and then our flower farm here. Um, and this is what I built. This is a, pretty much just a feed tape um, uh, for the... Uh, crash crash labs it just kind of makes it a lot easier for me to um, create them and then uh, mine them um, because previously I was like making them and then mining them making them mining them whereas this way it just makes them and then I mine them all at once um, yeah I can show you how this works uh, let me grab the uh, I need to make some slabs actually there we go and yeah basically I turn it on with this little uh, little clock here and that's going there. Now, obviously, this is a server, and I live in Australia, and the server is hosted in America, so the, uh, yeah, my speed is actually very slow. I mean, you can see these blocks, like, basically disappearing as I place them. It makes it very difficult, so I need to have this on a bit of a slow, uh, clock. But, uh, if you get into a bit of a rhythm, you can kinda, kinda get it going, which is cool. And yeah, as you can see, it kind of uh, pushes them over, so basically how it works is you, you know, you put the, uh, the blocks in here, uh, power it, and this clock is constantly going, so it pulls it across, and then this, uh, this pushes it forward, and then this pushes it all the way across here, once it gets to the end here, it goes over this uh, redstone torch, powers this line to uh, push all of these across and then eventually these come all the way across to the end here and once they get to the end here uh, this redstone line there's there'll be a block here this redstone line um, gets powered uh, and this repeater takes the output and then takes it all the way up to this array of redstone up here to power all these pistons pushing it down um, and yeah it just basically over time creates a big cube of crash labs which is cool um i kind of like to try and keep this layer here because i don't really need i need it a lot for that project but after this i probably won't that need that many so you know this will be enough to grab but yeah it's a pretty useful uh machine and it's been uh really handy to build i think it was definitely necessary to build for that project over there it definitely ended up saving me time i believe so uh yeah and it was a fun project it's always fun to add little uh little redstone contraptions like this into the world so yeah and obviously of course i can always come back and make more crash labs because i do like uh i do like the crash lab aesthetic in uh 
in beta. I think I want to try and use it a little more um, as we progress, but uh, yeah. Alright, but that's what I managed to get up to this week. Um, yeah, basically just dug a, a ginormous hole and uh, started adding the detail. Unfortunately, no progress on the uh, actual game itself, uh, but the aesthetics are coming along, which is good. Um, yeah, that's, you know, sometimes there's limits of what I can do in a week, and this uh, this was what I could get done. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy seeing this uh, slow but steady progress on the uh, on this next minigame in, uh, in our area on the Back to Beta server. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!